It reads, Dear Dominic, thank you for your letter notifying me of your decision to resign from your position in His Majesty's Government as Deputy Prime Minister and Lord Chancellor and Secretary of State for Justice. It is with great sadness that I have accepted your resignation. When I became Prime Minister in October last year, I pledged that the government I lead would have integrity, professionalism and accountability at every level. The ministerial code requires ministers to uphold the highest standards. When formal complaints about your conduct in different ministerial posts were submitted last year, I appointed at your request an independent investigator to conduct a full investigation into the specific facts surrounding these complaints. Adam Tolley KC has now submitted his report and I have carefully considered its findings as well as consulting the independent advisor on ministers' interests. As you say, you had rightly undertaken to resign if the report made any finding of bullying whatsoever. You have kept your word. But it is clear that there have been shortcomings in the historic process that have negatively affected everyone involved. We should learn... Uh, we should... But it is clear there have been shortcomings in the historic process that have negatively affected everyone involved. We should learn from this how to better handle such matters in future. But your resignation should not make us forget your record of delivery in both this government and previous administrations. These achievements should make you extremely proud. Most recently, as Secretary of State for Justice and Lord Chancellor, you have put the rights of victims at the heart of our criminal justice system through our landmark Victims and Prisoners Bill, as well as increasing sentences for violent criminals, reforming the probation system and pushing forward the biggest prison building programme this country has seen in over a century. As Foreign Secretary, you were a major driving force of the 2021 Integrated Review, conceiving and delivering the Indo-Pacific tilt. I know the personal drive you also displayed to create the UK's new independent sanctions regime and in our response to the undermining of human rights and democracy in Hong Kong. It goes on. During the COVID crisis, you stepped in uh, when the then Prime Minister was hospitalised. You provided the country and your cabinet colleagues with reassurance and leadership at a moment of profound national concern. As Chancellor at the time, I was struck by the collegiate way in which you handled this most difficult of challenges. I will always be grateful for your steadfast personal support during last year's Conservative Party leadership contest from the day you introduced me at the launch to the last day of the contest. The subsequent dedication, commitment and loyalty with which you have discharged your responsibilities as Deputy Prime Minister has been typical of your belief in public service. I look forward to receiving your support from the backbenches as you continue to passionately represent your constituents of Isha and Walton. Thank you for your service to this and previous governments and I wish you and your family every possible success for the future. Yours sincerely, Rishi Sunak, of course.